the evidence this far suggests that in the first few minutes after death, consciousness is not obliterated. So whether it fades away afterwards we do not know, but right after death, consciousness is not lost. Hi there. I'm Bazzi Francis. And this is my journey to self-discovery. Death is one of the most great wonders of life, what would it be like for someone to sleep and never wake up? Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know, to avoid the trap of thinking that you have something to lose. You'd find out it to pose as a next question to you, what is it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. At some point in my life, I started getting depressed, I thought what kind of purpose do I have to live? I'd constantly ask myself. Francis, are you just here to live to die, I mean is there not a purpose for me? Do I have a reason for living? Why am I here? Why do everyone have the mindset of living life to the fullest without purpose? I wept bitterly, days after days, asking God to show me how to live right. Or I was gonna die overdosing my system with toxicity. The truth is this, when you're ready to wake up, you'd wake up. And if you're not ready by pretending you're just a young man or woman, thinking you have a bright future ahead of you is totally wrong. There's no bright future without a purpose and, there's no purpose without Christ. Not all seek meaning of life from a youthful age, but those that do will find it earlier and live longer to fulfill it. I woke up from the matrix and I suddenly got an awakening to who I am. I suddenly felt a need to ask myself, who's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I got this amazing feeling of freedom. How you choose to experience life is the same way it presents itself to you. You can only switch realities by choosing to see things for what they are. At that moment I understood this, I saw that I was bigger, my mind was bigger than what I've been told to, my mind is limitless, my body is much more sensitive to my surroundings, my voice is much more powerful to speak in my truth. My consciousness expanded. I began to perceive things from a much more higher dimension, I began to see things happening in the spiritual realm like a movie. At first, it was scary, I felt I was going crazy. You know, a 24-year-old boy seeing the unseen, I thought I was possessed or I was just being tricked by my mind. God opened my eyes to see this, and literally I was wowed. Look! The devil is mad, he's loosing every day, he's always raging war against the children of God, and believe me when I say, every day there's a spiritual warfare going on. Today the once lost boy is a life coach for Christ. Leading, learning, and also giving wisdom to the youths as instructed in Ecclesiastics 12 verse 1. Know your God in the days of your youth. The vital life force in you only belongs to the giver of life, Jesus. So every day I live freely without the fear of death, because I know who I am in Christ. I'm living in my truth and raising an empire for Christ. You too can be a vessel for God's purpose. You only need to wake up to see things for what they truly appear to be. Join my Life Coaching Masterclass on Facebook. This is Spiritual Rebirth and Human Anatomy with Bazzi Francis. Proudly brought to you by Bazzi's Empire.